What's going on guys, Nova here, and welcome to the new Call of Duty Black Ops 3 Zombies map. Uh, what is it? Uh, Grovkrvi? I think that's the name of it. I thought it was called Stalingrad at first, but I guess not. So, uh, I've been playing this for a minute. I'm only on round 3, but I'm just going to show you guys a little couple things that I found throughout the, uh, throughout the game. So, what we can see is that we do have our, uh, our vinyl players back. Uh... Not sure if they're going to trigger any music in the game or at all, but I have been trying to like press square on them and see if they make the little record scratch sound, but they haven't been doing that lately. So I don't think that might have anything to do with the song Easter Egg. Um, as you can see, there are flaming zombies, which I will show you how that ends up happening. Um, it's upstairs up here. I wonder if he'll pop up. He might come over here. Uh, yep, there's a dragon flying overhead. Hopefully he comes over here. Because apparently the dragon pops down right here and sets a blaze to the floor. It kind of scared the crap out of me the first time that I was here and didn't expect it. I turned my back and he landed on top of the building and just set it on fire. And that's how the zombies get caught on fire because of that. So if you're playing this and that randomly happens to you, that's because there's a trap there. And they don't tell you about the trap because it just happens. And there he is. There's the dragon. What's going on, Smog? How you doing, buddy? Oh shit! And there he goes. He sets the sets those planks on fire, and that whole area kind of like stays on fire for about like maybe about a good forty seconds. Then it just like vanishes. Get out of here! All right. Um, now I'll show you where some of the shield pieces are. He can come in this area as well, so it's kind of like he's on a following system. He kind of follows you around a little bit. It's, it's very odd. I don't know if that's like a real thing or not, but that's at least what I've been experiencing since I've been playing so far. Um, let's go downstairs. One of the shield pieces will actually be in, um, not in this area. Um, and not over here. It will be, this isn't the right area either. Okay, let me find the right area, and then I'll show you guys where it exactly spawns. It's one of the ones that spawn in here. I haven't gotten that gone that way yet, so I'm trying to build up some points so I can go in that direction. Because apparently this map is really freaking huge. I mean, there's a lot to explore. I didn't expect it to be this big. It It's a lot bigger than um, Zetsubo no Shima. Um, let me see. I think we're in the wrong tower. That might be the thing. Oh. There goes our burnt little zombie. Uh, let's see. It's not in that direction because there's still barriers up over here. As far as I can remember. Yeah, there is. There's a way to get over there. Boom. From like behind. Oh, I think I just... I think I'm just being an idiot and didn't go the way I was supposed to go. So I'm just going to go back this way. And uh, go back down and go back around. Because everything, of course, is kind of like interlooped with one another. Um... So go this way. Uh, actually, you know, I'll show you the chapel. I'll show you the uh, the Russian base camp. There's this giant weird eyeball that follows you around once you turn on the power. It's super freaky. Uh, seems like we have a panel over here. Of course, it's like a map layout telling us where you know each district of the map is. So we have a dragon command. We have an infantry armory. Uh, department store, then we have the Belinsky Square, which I believe is where we spawn at, and then we have Tank Factory and the Supply Depot. But it also seems like we also have a teleporter as well, like how we had back in um, in Black Ops 2 or Black Ops 1 uh, with uh, Kino. I believe Kino de Toten, where you had the little panel that you stepped on and you linked the teleporter and all that stuff like that. Uh, there's also these generators as well uh, that are in the lower level, probably, I guess, below here uh, that we have to somewhat deal with and put together. The power is here in this building. Um, so a lot of cross and turns you have to get here. Uh, just remember that it's in the, uh, like, heading towards the infirmary and then heading towards the armory. So, yeah. Um, still got it. Oh, no. Okay, this is the Dragon Command. Okay, yeah. All right. That makes sense. Okay, so, yeah. Um, what's up here? That's right. We got a couple, bunch of other, like, different panels and stuff that's going on. So, you know, a lot of things that uh, seems like they're making the Easter eggs a little bit more obvious to deal with. But I'm not really too sure just yet.
You wait for me. Just trying to listen to the voice log. So apparently it seems like the dragons basically uh, took over this area. Now if you can also tell there is more than just one big dragon flying in the air. There's actually another one off in the distance uh, fighting some of the fighter pilots as well. And then there's also a dead one that's uh, right in the beginning of the game that you, you notice um, right off back. Uh, its guts are kind of like just spilling out of its body. Not sure if Nikolai was the cause of that or not. But uh, it seems like that dragon got a little work done. Um, okay, so let's see. Oh, okay, this is where the shield piece will be. The shield piece will be either on this panel right here. I believe it's like the second or first piece, whichever one you find. Uh, but yeah, just know that it'll be right here on this panel. Not sure if they have a rare, like a random spawning um, kind of time. Or I mean, you know, if they have like a different spawn each and every time you relaunch the game or every time you die and relaunch I'm not really too sure just yet but I found them in those two specific spots so far um, this is the supply depot which I haven't gotten to yet so uh, when I get enough points I'll probably cut to that for you guys so you guys can see that as well um, but yeah this is so far what I've unlocked in so far what I've made through in the new DLC I uh, hope you guys enjoy it uh, if you make sure, just make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel and be sure to share this video with a friend as well. And, uh, yeah, the new DLC will be out at 12 o'clock. It actually dropped at 11 for me, uh, cause I had the season pass, so I got a little bit early. Um, as soon as it became available, I hopped right on it because I was very interested to see where this game, or uh, where this DLC was going to be going. Uh, Nikolai has to be probably my second favorite character. Oh, sh shit. Yeah, and he spawns right there as well. The dragon literally seems to follow you around the map everywhere you go so just look out for that i know a lot of people are going to get pissed about you know that happening to them so just be aware that he will fly around and set a blaze to a specific area whichever one you step in so thanks for watching guys and uh have a good one i'm nova and i'm signing off i'll see you guys in the next video peace out